Hey, I'm Ryze, and we're gonna continue our history from Zeta to Double Zeta. Now, with the success of the original movie trilogy Mobile Suit Gundam, it was only due time until a sequel would arise. This 50 episode sequel would come in the name of Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam on March 2nd, 1985. Aside from Tomino creating and directing, Sunrise would have more returning staff to work on this new entry in the Gundam universe. Yoshikazu again would be in charge of character design while Kunio Okuwara would actually split his work with other mechanical designers. These mechanical designers being Momoro Nagano and Kazumi Fujita. When it came to the opening and ending songs, it was actually American songwriter Neil Sedeka who wrote them. Songs like Tokiwa Koete being based on the song Better Days Are Coming. Just like its predecessor, this sequel aired on the Nagoya Broadcasting Network and its sister channel, ANN. Within Zeta, we are introduced to a wide variety of transformable mobile suits, like the Master Race Zeta Gundam. This story would bring in more of that gray line which is war, but unlike the previous entries where the protagonists fought on the side of the Earth Federation, seven years have passed and the Federation has grown more corrupt and tyrannical with the introduction of the Titans. The protagonists of this story now fight against the Titans in the AEUG, Anti-Earth Union Group. And it brings in our new lovable angsty teen, Camille Biden. Huh? Thought I heard girls in it. But that kid looks like a boy. But that kid looks like a boy. Stop it! Hey kid, what's the idea of messing with the Titans? Camille is a perfectly good name for a guy. I'm a man and I'll prove it! This guy's nuts! This show would bring in more than one Gundam and be the first to have mid-season upgrades, replacing the Gundam Mark II with the Zeta Gundam. Such a there was actually a competition between mechanical designers on what the Zeta Gundam would be. Kazumi Fujita would actually win this competition while the rejected designs would be used and reworked into what is now the Hayushiki and the Seiko Gundam. During production, Tomono fell into depression which influenced his work on Zeta. He would push his frustrations on his writing and the end result would cause Zeta Gundam to be a lot more darker than the original 0079 entry. Zeta Gundam would fully mark Tomino with the title of Kill em All. Towards the end of the show, the three-way war would bring many lives to an end. No character was safe as Tomino took his frustrations out on them. Not even the protagonist was safe, suffering from a mind-crippling blow which essentially turned him into a living vegetable. The tragedy did not end there. Tomino again with a novelized adaption of the show would have Camille follow the same fate as Amaro. With all the death around him, Camille would be driven to madness, leading him to commit suicide. Losing lives like this? Is this noble? Is this supposed to be glorious? Who? Who could be happy about what's happening here? Tomino's depression truly showed within this story. Zeta would come in second place in the Anime Grand Prix Award in 1985. In this same year, the character former Osami would receive the Favorite Female Character Award. Directly after the end of Zeta Gundam, a 47 episode sequel would start, Double Zeta Gundam, or just ZZ. On March 1st, 1886, the sequel would take place right after the events of Zeta. Although the Titans were defeated, a new conflict would commence with the rise of Neo Zeon. Unlike Zeta, Double Zeta would be more comical in tone compared to the dark, depressing one from before. This tone would last for the first half of the show until being more serious again later on. Tomono has said that Zeta Gundam was making people sad and now believes that watching anime should make people happy, not sad. The first opening of the show, Anime Genai, meaning it's not an anime, is a funny little song representing the show. The theme actually became quite popular. The story brings together a ragtag group of new type misfits, turning the main ship into Bright's new type daycare. These new protagonists would take on the task of being the new pilots for the ship, considering the past pilots were either killed off or... Originally, Char was actually supposed to be in Double Zeta, but that idea was scrapped once Tomino was given the go-ahead for his movie, Char's Counter-Attack. Because of this, the staff had to rewrite the second half of the show. Just like its predecessor, it won second place in the Anime Grand Prix Award for 1986. And LPO Plea won the favorite female character. 
Funny enough, her name was actually a reference to a Japanese Lolita magazine, Lemon People. Well, I'm ending it here. Next episode, we're gonna go over Char's counterattack to Victory Gundam. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for staying this long. And remember, Camille is a girl's name. Whoosh. <laughs>